Florida Governor Ron DeSantis uh, will announce that he's running for president during a discussion with Twitter's CEO, Elon Musk, tonight. So we expect. Last year, Musk tweeted support for DeSantis, saying that Donald Trump is too old to be president. And if DeSantis ran against President Biden, he would win easily. He wouldn't even need to campaign, says Musk. Here to discuss more is CNBC tech and media correspondent Julia Borston and CNBC.com political finance reporter Brian Schwartz. Brian, is Musk trying in some way to be a political conservative kingmaker here? Well, I certainly think he is, and I think he wants Twitter uh, to help him in that regard, the social media company he now owns. But it's not just him who could be that kingmaker, really. There's also another player in this, and that is venture capitalist David Sachs, who's going to be moderating this discussion between Elon Musk and Ron DeSantis this evening when DeSantis announces his run for president. And for Mr. Sachs, you know, I spoke to someone you know, close to him and a few other tech leaders, and you know, Sachs is really trying to position himself as this voice uh, for some of him, for himself and allies in the tech community, a clearly he could be a kingmaker himself in these 2024 elections, not just for Ron DeSantis, but for whom, whoever else he wants to see win potentially uh, in, in this race, this cycle. Julia, what interests me are not so much the personalities, but the platforms. And it does feel relevant that, you know, this might be the moment in which cable is supplanted by social media as, you know, the next platform for political debate for news and for all the rest of it. Maybe I'm putting too much on Twitter, but maybe not. Well, look, I think we have to go back, rewind and go back to the Super Bowl when, if you recall, Elon Musk was sitting next to Rupert Murdoch and they were mm, very intentionally, very um, you know, photographed together sitting in a box. And there was this this question of sort of what is their relationship and also what is Elon Musk interested in, in having Twitter be? I think we have to say first and foremost that Elon Musk wants to drive traffic to Twitter. You know, the, the Democratic race is not a contentious one. We know that President Biden is going to be running again. But there is this question about what's going to happen in terms of the Republican candidate. And I think that he's seizing this as an opportunity to draw eyeballs. And if, he, if he's successful, he'll end up adding some new users to Twitter, which is really the plan here. For him to be successful, though, uh, and for him to really draw a broad assortment of advertisers, which is, of course, why he hired Linda Yaccarino, he's going to have to figure out how to make sure that it is not so focused that it excludes or, or alienates a broad swath of, of the, the user users who could be um, engaging on Twitter, but also advertisers as well. I am going to throw something out, Brian, that is so totally pre preposterous based on what Julia just said. And it's right out of the pages of Succession, Logan Roy and Matson. What is there a possibility that Rupert Murdoch and Fox would buy Twitter hmm. and That's bail really, really out Elon idea. Musk effectively? Well, it's a really interesting idea. I, I'm not entirely sure. I don't have reporting on that, but I mean, no. I, I think I think. Look, when you when you look at the scenarios here, to, get to Julie's point, uh, clearly there could be some sort of alliance made between Elon Musk and Rupert Murdoch. Um, you know, in, in a way, they're two kind of media visionaries. Yep. Uh, Musk more on the tech side, Rupert, of course, on the media mogul side of things. And there could be some form of an alliance there, particularly as both of those media and you know, for Twitter tech entities, want to see some sort of you know, influence in these elections. You'll be there at Sun Valley, Julia, I am sure. Could happen there. I will indeed. It'll be interesting to see how all these relationships play out. But one thing's for sure is Elon Musk wants eyeballs, and this is a pretty good way to get them. You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I'm looking at the market <laughs> caps. Fox market, Fox's market cap is about $15 billion. And didn't Musk buy Twitter for about 45? 44, 45 40, million. 40, I mean, that, that's a, that, that tells you already the valuations. Yeah. Um, you know, whether they, they I don't think they can bail I don't think out. it's worth $44 billion today. I don't no. think anybody would say that. But, no, but I but, don't think they can save him from that investment at this point. He yeah. paid too much, yeah. you know, at least for the time being. Well, there you go. Just out of thin air, we have created, uh, I don't know what we've the created. The next chapter, the next I think, chapter. in media and politics. Julia Bryant, thanks.